Monarch Legacy of Monsters is out in full on Apple TV+. Plus. 10 episodes, around 40 minutes each. Uh, this is a show from the uh, Monsterverse, which is currently which is the currently running film franchise from, I think, Universal, uh, consisting of the 2014 Godzilla film, Kong, Skull Island, Godzilla King of Monsters, and Godzilla vs. Kong. This show stars Kurt Russell and Wyatt Russell uh, playing the same characters at two different points in time, which is pretty cool. Um, and it's supposed to fill in the blanks uh, from the movies, to expand on the universe by giving us more information specifically about Monarch, the shadow government organization from the movies, uh, which is supposed to somehow be responsible or, or related to tracking, monitoring and studying Godzilla and the other titans, and also presumably somehow tied to their origins. Um, the story takes place in two different timelines. Um, in the 1950s, we watch three characters first learn about Godzilla and the existence of Titans, and slowly establishing Monarch as an organization together with the US Army. And in the present day, or rather in 2014 uh, or 2015, uh, right after the Godzilla attacks portrayed in the original movie, um, we follow another group of characters, uh, two of which are step-grandchildren of the pair from 1950s who are searching for their missing father who may or may not be alive and who may or may not have some connection to Monarch as well. So, yeah, it's pretty complicated. Um, the show has been getting demolished <laughs> pretty consistently online in terms of reception and criticism and I saw loads of people complaining specifically about the fact that it contains very little monster action. In fact, there's so little of it that the monsters should just be considered cameos in the show. And with this criticism, I don't agree. Um, I think that if you seriously expected the sh a TV show to have a to have constant CGI uh, battles between Godzilla and other monsters, you are either delusional or don't know how TV budgets work. Um, they are small, typically, uh, smaller than movies. And even in the case of Apple, who <coughs> excuse me, who likes to shell out, even if we assume, uh, because we don't have that information publicly, but if we assume that the show had a massive budget comparable to, to a big movie, let's say $100 million, which would be, again, absolutely massive in, in TV terms, uh, that's still $100 million for almost 10 hours of content, whereas a $100 million movie buys you two hours of content. So you, you see the difference right there. And, and CGI is also notoriously expensive these days. So, no, there was never going to be a lot of monster action here. Um, I think the show was aiming or, or trying to be more of a conspiracy thriller, uh, something along the lines of The X-Files um, or Lost, where a compelling narrative is created by mysteries being slowly unraveled by interesting characters. But, and this is a fair criticism, the show absolutely sucks at this. Um, it is really, really bafflingly bad. Now, Interestingly, it has a very similar problem to Foundation, uh, mainly the, the, f the first season, uh, where of the two concurrent storylines, one was excellent and one was dog shit. And here also, the 1950s storyline is pretty good. I'm not going to say excellent, but pretty good. Uh, the writing is solid and interesting and the actors are doing a good job. But the modern day storyline is abysmally bad. Uh, and unfortunately, this is the one that the show focuses on. This is the one we spend most time in. The writing makes no sense. And the central characters are annoying, whiny, incompetent. They have no useful skills to, to try and apply them to unravel the mysteries of Monarch. <clears throat> and at multiple times, at multiple points during the show, they actively want to drop the whole thing and just go home. But for some reason, every time they decide to keep going, or, you know, rather for a, for a very evident reason, uh, because the writers needed to move the plot forward somehow. Now, it, it, just, it just doesn't make any sense. Uh, and not only is the writing awful here and the motivations don't make sense and flip back and forth, but the actors are adding on top of this with their terrible execution. Uh, I mean, there's, there's a limited amount of stuff you can do with a poor script like that, but it's it's kind of strange how it's visible that not only is the writing bad, but the acting is as well. And I actually want to highlight those actors by name. Uh, Anna Sawai, 
Kiersey Clemens and Ren Watabe. All three of you are terrible. Uh, as I was watching the show, I was a actively rooting for monsters to finally kill them as quickly as possible and spare me the pain of watching these three interact, which probably isn't something you want the audience to think about your main protagonists. Also, Monarch itself is a terrible organization. Um, after watching 10 episodes of the show, I still don't really have an idea of what it is they're supposed to be doing. Um, they clearly suck at monitoring and stopping monster attacks. They don't know shit about any of this stuff and require help of a sculpture artist and a primary school teacher to help them along. They are the least menacing bad guys ever. Uh, over the course of the season, they actually managed to capture the good guys, like five or six times and they just let them go every single time. They're not very secretive. Uh, every one of their employees wears the company logo on all of their clothing and equipment. They don't have a clearly defined goal. And basically we don't even know at the end of the day if they're supposed to be good or bad in moral terms. Uh, it's, it's awful. It's really, really awful. Kurt Russell is trying his best to breathe some life into this shit show, but even he can't drag the modern half of the show from the hole it's in. And as much as I enjoyed the 1950s storyline, I think in the end it also didn't go anywhere compelling, or, or even compelling enough. Um, it's straight up a bad show. Uh, even if you're a fan of the MonsterVerse, skip it altogether. It, it does not have a lot of monsters in it, it does not have a lot of interesting lore in it, and the human narrative is essentially a teenage soap opera. I hope they never make a second season because this was an utter waste of time.